All right, we're going to look at how to upload my parts to a drawing file so that I can get this printout like this student has done here. So first, we're in our AA3A Birdhouse assignment. Of course, make sure you've named all your parts and your drawing files correctly, but you could download this template to get the drawing file. And that template, if you take a look at it, looks just like this. It is, um, if you look at the edit sheet aspect of it, it is 12 inches by 24 inches, has no border, it has no title block, it's totally clear. So then just to show you what I got here, I have a, a back piece, a base piece to a birdhouse, a front, a roof, some sides, and then I do have an assembly just because I wanted to make sure that it actually works, that it actually goes together. After you've done that, you've gotten it checked by your teacher, then you go ahead and you just come in here and you start putting base views of your parts that need to go in. So I need a back view, but of course I don't want that view of it, so I would turn it. So it's not the front view of it just because the way I made it, but so here's the back. I want to make sure I do one-to-one -one scale, of course, because if I don't do one-to-one -one scale, then it's not going to print out right. So put it in the corner, okay? Then I'm going to bring in a base view of another part. Um, and they are open right now, so let me I'll do the roof part. And um, I think there's two of these. So I'm going to bring two of these ones in, <clears throat> put one there, hit OK. Maybe I'll bring one more roof part in just to show you, like, you know, you can bring in multiples of the same thing. And let's say I accidentally put it in the wrong spot to start. Of course, you can move it. You get the little move symbol, you move it. And now the key is you need to make all of them red lines <clears throat> with 0 .001 thickness, as you can see right there. Okay, and it tells you how to do it here, but I'm going to show you real quick in Inventor. So what I would do is I come over to the views. I like to expand all the views. And then I just click on one of the part files. And if, and I, if I right click on it, I can do properties. Then I get rid of by layer, keep it continuous, make it 0 .001, and then I change it to red. I'm going to change all the lines to red. Okay, now let's so say I want to do multiple ones at the same time. Great, I just choose both those parts. I hold control to get both of them selected, right click, properties, get rid of by layer, 0 .001 thickness again, of course, and red lines. Once I have those red lines on there, now the engraver will see those as cut lines. Let's say I needed some something that was black on there to like etch it in or carve it into it. Um, that is possible to do as well, um, but we're not going to get into that right now. If you need that done, you do need to talk to your teacher specifically about that. Once you have all your files on here, all your views on here, and if you need another sheet, then you would just do a new sheet. And again, here's your second sheet and go back to the first one. Remember, you do have one and a half sheets. So if you fill up this page, be efficient, use your space well, then you can go ahead and come to this page. Also, you want to leave about a quarter inch on the bottom and on the side because our bed is not quite 12 by 24. It's more like 11 and three quarter by, you know, 23 and three quarter. Um, but you can get these really close together because the accuracy is about a thousandth of an inch. Uh, and so you can get these really close together and, and you're perfectly fine. And that's all.